Hey guys, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today for another budgeting cash stuffing video. I am super excited to be able to do this video. If you have been with me, then you know I did complete the sinking funds challenge that is available in my shop. So it's here. I did shrink it down to make it fit in my A5 size planner, but I did complete this challenge a while back. And so when I completed it, I told you guys I would take that money and put it in, just allocate it in different places in my sinking funds. So why you ask did i do this if i was just gonna put the money in here and anyway because it's fun that's it that's it because it's fun it's more fun to color in these little circles than it is to just take money and leave it in the bank or pay bills or whatever it is you want to do with it it's more fun it's more fun to complete the challenges it's more rewarding for me to say yes i did it like all of those things so that is why i did what I did. So anyway, I completed this challenge. It was $135. So that should be what I have here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I will put this here. All right. And then I'm going to get this out of the way. And then I also did have some a B and a J and I do collect these B books and J books for my um, envelope. So I did go ahead and pull those out. So I will, I will show you where those go in just a moment. So because I am on a debt free journey. So really I have a hundred, what did I say? 135. So 135 divided by two will be 65, 60, 750. All right. So because I am on a debt free journey, I'm going to put the majority of the money in debt <laughs> towards debt. And then I will put the rest of it in the other binder. So we'll start there. I think that was 67. I don't know. 20, 40, 60. We'll just do one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. We'll just do $70 will go into my debt envelope, which is currently empty because I used it to pay debt not too long ago. And I have not done my April paycheck stuffing yet, so that money will be in there as well. And then the ones and one dollar bills and two dollar bills with the B, J, and A do go in this folder. So I will add these two. And this now has So $61 in here. And this money again is going to be used for either my Etsy shop or my YouTube channel, but I will be saving this throughout the entire year. Even if that means I have to put it in like another envelope or whatever. So that is it for this one. And then the rest of the funds are going to be going in here. I would like to add $20 to birthdays so now birthday has 100 150 200 220 i would like to add 20 dollars to travel oops all right so now travel has 100 150 170 190 210 230 240 and 245 Awesome. Let's see, what do we have left? 25, I think. Let's add... Oh, 20 to car, car maintenance. Because it's almost time for tags. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 35. And then... I am going to put $3, one, two, $3 in planner stuff. And so now planners has 23 because 
after I'm done with this no spin, I have some things I want to get. And then I'm going to put the other, what, $2 in giving. So now giving has 10, 15, 16, and 17. And that's it, you guys. Like, that is it. So as I finish my challenges depending on what it's for because some of them are specific to a thing so like i have one challenge that's specifically for travel i have one that's specifically for birthdays um so you know depending on if there's something specific then obviously i will just put all of those funds in that envelope but if there's something that is just a general savings challenge then i will be doing videos like this where i just show you where i'm putting those funds that i've already saved for so that's it thank you so much i know this video was super quick but I appreciate you for watching it in its entirety. And I look forward to doing some more budget videos with you soon. As always, be safe, be kind, and I'll catch you in the next video.